of this song and thinking whether I should include it or not in this video. Um, it's not really my finest hour, I think. Or maybe it's just a song that doesn't really work with just guitar and vocals, I don't know. But as you probably know, whenever possible, I like to include a, a cover of the song along with the guitar tutorial. I think it helps uh, in the process of learning the song and it's a bit of a challenge for me. So this is Aging Raver from Come Out Fighting Gangi Smith. Hardly one of Roy Harper's best songs, but it's quite interesting um, in a way. It's a kind of a baroque pop, baroque folk song with a quirky structure uh, 
there are different types of verses that alternate with the chorus and there are a few unusual chords thrown in so let's check it out first of all this is in standard tuning with a capo on the 6th fret and the first chord this is a G suspended 4th well it's not a G suspended 4th because it has a capo on the 6th fret but I'm referring to the chords according to the, the where the capo is so G would be like this okay so G suspended 4th usually you would do it like this but I'm pretty sure that Roy does the chord like this because this note uh, sounds a lot more metallic here than here it has a lot more top end and another thing is that uh, on the second part of the picking if you do the chord like this then the first notes uh, stop ringing if you do it like this the first notes keep ringing while you do so this chord is index finger on the second string first fret and then ring finger and little finger on the sixth and fifth strings third fret and the second chord is E and the second time you do So this chord here, you are in E and you move your middle finger and ring finger to the 4th fret. The rest of the strings are open. is A major 7th so index finger on the 1st fret 3rd string and then middle finger on the 4th string and ring finger on the 2nd string both on the 2nd fret Stained glass people Then the chorus is very simple, it's just A and G. So when you are in F sharp, you lift the index finger from the bar on the second fret and the middle finger from the third string, and you are left with these two fingers on the fourth fret. And this is the chord that we've seen before during the, the first verse, the one that goes from here. Okay, so and then there 
is this leak, this picking that I'm going to show you in detail. From here you go to the second verse, which is different uh, from the first one. He's a younger version of a face up on a picture inside an antique rocket. So this is just E and E suspended fourth. For the E suspended fourth you add the little finger to the third string on the second fret. And then you go to C major seventh no idea and this is a kind of a B seventh so C major seventh is like a C but without the the second string pressed on the first fret so the second string is open here's no idea B seventh which way the sun has gone? E D A. Okay. Then there is another part. Hyde Park Corner on Sunday. So this is G and A. White Hall's a good place to sit. Nikki's a good bitch to lie on. And then, and lie in the sun and sing trouble in mind 50 times in between every trip. So, D, A, D, A, and then you finish in E. You can do this lick, which is like an E7. Just bend the second string on the third fret. Again, you repeat the chorus. Then you start the second part of the song, which has the same structure as the first part of the song. The only difference is that uh, at the beginning, in the first part of the song, you play the first verse twice, um, verse chorus, verse chorus, uh, while in the second part you only play it once. <laughs> 